This morning in my journal, I was writing down how important it is to let go of things, to let go of this idea of lack, of scarcity, of deficiency, of not enoughness, of being broken, letting go of frustration and resentment, letting go of disappointment, letting go of expectation, letting go of being upset all the time, letting go of being upset about being upset, <laughs> let go of just a general malaise, a general feeling of discontent, a, a, a feeling of not enough. I think I may have already said that one, but that one comes up a lot. Not enough. Uh, letting go of fear and shame. Letting go of um, just feeling like we're not okay. And I say letting go, uh, and it sounds, you know, simple, uh, <laughs> but and it is, but it's not easy, right? But we let go of these things as many times as we need to let go of them. They're not serving us. I mean, think about the words that I just said. Shame, fear, anxiety, not enoughness, scarcity, lack, resentment. Are all those words that you want to you wanna live out in your life? I, no. <laughs> no, you don't. I know you don't because I don't. Uh, I know what those things feel like. I know what kind of results they produce. I know how they affect my sense of well-being and my happiness and my joy my energy levels, and how I just feel about myself and feel about the world. And it's something that we can become aware of, that we can recognize, that we can actually make conscious choices about. And we don't have to stand around that campfire any longer than we want to. We can actually uh, move and grow and go someplace else, right? We can choose different thoughts. We can choose to let go of those things. And so here's the visual that I want you to to um, to take away from today is, let's say we were standing at an oven and, and I opened up the door and there was a whole pile of flaming hot foil wrapped potatoes. And on each one of those potatoes was a word, shame, fear, anxiety, resentment, a lack, um, discontent. <laughs> and I reached in with my oven mitt, right? Because I don't want to burn myself. And I handed you, I just said, here. And I handed you a flaming hot foil wrapped potato in your bare hands. And because you felt like, uh, you know, it was handed to you, it was given to you, right? It was what our brain does to us. We feel like we have to take it, right? We have to hold on to it. It was handed to us, so we must take it. Um, it's kind of part of our indoctrination into life, into society, into childhood, right? Whatever, whatever we are uh, subjected to, we feel like we have to endure it in order to survive. And so you, gr you grab the flaming hot foil wrapped potato and it's burning you and it's burning you and it's uncomfortable and you don't like it, but you don't let go of it, right? You hold on to it. But what if you instead, you said, ow, that hurts, and you let, you let go of that flaming hot foil wrapped potato. And, and I said, oh, you dropped it. And so I handed you another one. <laughs> and then you dropped that one. And I handed you another one. And you dropped that one, right? And, and that's what we're doing when we're letting go. We're, we're dropping these flaming hot foil wrapped potatoes as many times as they're handed to us because we don't benefit from holding on to them. They actually burn us. They hurt us. They produce negative results in our life. And we don't want to live there anymore. We don't want to... Uh, experience that any longer. We get to choose. We get to decide who we want to be and how we want to live. And we do that by making choices that support our values, what's important to us. And we do make those choices over and over and over again, just like dropping that foil, those flaming hot foil wrapped potatoes. And then what happens is eventually I would hand you, try to hand you another potato and you would realize that, oh, you know what? I don't have to take that. I don't have to accept what you're handing me. And so you wouldn't even put your hands out. And I would let go of that potato and it would just fall to the floor. And then I would give you another one and another one and another one and your hands wouldn't move. You wouldn't accept it. You would decide for yourself that that's not what you want and that you don't want to hurt yourself anymore, that you value yourself, that you care for yourself, that you love yourself enough not to hurt yourself not to allow yourself to accept thoughts that come out of your brain, not to pursue or feed negative uh, thoughts and feelings, 
and that we want to experience something different and that something different is saying no, is having boundaries for yourself and is letting go of the things that are hurting you. So there you go. I don't know if that's three minutes, but <laughs> that's what I have for you today. I love you, brother. Be kind to yourself. And while you're at it, there's a link down in the description where you can set up a phone call to talk with me. Let's talk some more about what you're having trouble letting go of. And if you're looking for a community of men, if you're looking for other initiated men to talk with and walk with and um, learn how to let go of these things, then go over to uh, mentoringmen.com. Go check that out. There's a link in the description for that as well. You can set up a call with me uh, and we can talk about what's going on with you and what you would like to experience differently. All right, brother. I'll talk to you later. Have a great week.